Hello, uh, so for this video, I'll be showcasing the invader. Um, being a unique VSS Vinterez, this weapon is by default a mid-range killing machine. Compared to the slower but higher headshot damage rifles of equivalent level, um, the invader really is able to suffice in close combat with you know high attack speed, um, in this case 44%, um, while having high accuracy for sniper potential. Um, the stats also make this primarily a boss hunting weapon, but it can provide some effective coverage against the infected, be it like, you know, the easy assist sticks to the unbearable optics. Uh, the maximum accuracy is also a massive plus as it provides more uh, the ability to land more shots. Um, the downside of this weapon is that it lacks damage versus infected and any kind of defensive stats, so you would heavily, have to heavily compensate for survivability through other gear which is absolutely fine. Um, but overall, I think this is definitely an insane unique that will rarely disappoint. Uh, I usually use this with um, a Crusader helmet actually, uh, as it offers more attack speed and, and flexibility with damage versus infected, as well as well, you know incoming damage reduction. So my stats usually are um, 35 uh, headshot damage, Five attacks per second, ninety-nine percent headshot damage, and one hundred seventy damage versus mutated. But if I were to go um, hardcore against the uh, mutated, I would use the red band instead because it's just more accurate and it, it offers more damage. So this in turn makes the invader thirty-six point seven with one hundred twelve percent headshot damage and one eighty-one damage versus mutated. Um, but yeah, with that said, let's fight a few bosses. Boss. Um, it's an optic, right? Is that a reap? Oh, it's a reaper. Great, fantastic. Uh, I think get this one out first. As you can see, this is absolutely insane. The attack speed is great. Reapers are so tanky. Okay, it's dead. It's dead. Okay, um, well, I wanted to start off pretty easy, but that's fine. But as you can see, it, it just takes down the infected pretty, pretty easily. Oh, there's an optic. <laughs> um, so bad. Please. I mean, if you have more patience, then you can definitely just like ease in and shoot. But if you want to get things down, uh, done quickly, you just shoot quickly. No problem at all. This gun is just amazing. It makes quick work of the infected. Um, even if you're unable to one-shot the infected, the attack speed ensures that you will just have a smaller window for mistakes compared to um, slower rifles. So absolutely incredible. Okay, let's check out this boss. Oh, spitter. I like, I was aiming a little to the right, so I missed a lot of my shots, I, I feel like. But, uh, Optic Kid, no problem, shoot its belly. If you, oh, it's dead, what? <laughs> okay.
Okay, so this time I'm going to use the red band instead of the Crusader helmet. Um, it's a tendril. So a bit more pinpoint accurate in terms of macro accuracy. tendrils with their heads moving back and forth, you can still have enough attacks per second to at least land a shot to have a knockback. And let's get a reloading. Reloading is still good. Yeah, this really, really nice. I'd make the claim that um, the invader is actually much better than assault rifles in terms of cost efficiency and damage. In turn, of course, less attack speed, but that doesn't really matter too much when you're trying to save money or if you're trying to uh, uh, boss hunt effectively here. Oh, just saw it. Styrix is just a bad boss, honestly. Uh, heard it. Yeah, I just, no matter what weapon you use, hysterics are just bad. You're just bad, boss. Hmm. Yeah, let's check out this boss. Oh, of course, another Reaper. Reaper after Reaper after Reaper. Right there. Okay. Gotta take out the tentacles. Otherwise, they're gonna pose a huge problem. So as you can see, I'm using a red band again, and you know the the attack speed is slower, but each damage is is much higher compared to the Crusader helmet. Also, the game is loud, so I'm not sure if you can hear what I said. So that was not bad, not bad at all. Still can kill the infected pretty well. Yeah, it's really just a more efficient assault rifle um, in exchange, less attack speed, but you know, it doesn't really matter in the long term. And that was trash. Okay, last boss. Uh, oh, an optic titan. If it has an eye in its front, that should be fine. Should take out the kid and the tentacle right there. If it has an eye right there, cool. Done. Boom. Oh, it has two eyes, cool. Tentacles. See, even if you. Oh no! <laughs> Jeez. Like, like for optics, like I mentioned earlier, even if you missed your first shot, 
because of its attack speed, you can still take it down um, and knock it back. Like what I did with that Optic Kid, so... Since optics have half the HP of the other variants. Ow. Should be dead pretty quickly, I think. Oh, nope. Yeah. Oh, get out, get out, get out. Okay. So as you can see, this gun is absolutely amazing. Uh, I would highly re recommend getting it if you can. Um, just know that unlike me where I was playing it kind of recklessly, uh, don't use it as a machine gun. Just if you can, I, I suggest just tapping. Otherwise, you know, that's the end of this video and take care.